Today we are going to talk about how to pick the columns that you want to grab from an Excel file. Let me see. So in my Excel, I'm going to grab these columns. If I use a pandas to read Excel directly, I will get extra stuff like this. Say if I want to grab only these columns and these rows so that I can further process my data. So what can I do? Let me close the Excel file and just comment these out. Just wipe out everything. So we have to import pandas as pd. I'll just import numpy as np because we will use this very often. Define the data source and it is from, i just use r to read the location. The location will be inside, okay, it's inside D drive and downloads. So what I will be doing yeah. is reading from D drive, downloads folder from short example.xlsx. I'm going to create a table, which is also what you call data frame in pandas. The data frame equals to pd, which is panda. And I'm going to use the dot read underscore excel function this part i'm reading from data source which is the file from this location let me just print it out to see what we get so print df and then I press control b or go to tools go to your um sublime text control build like control b or if you're using your browser, just run your Python file. Then it's perfectly okay. So it's control B. And you see, I have a whole bunch of these stuff. Like initial cache, a name, something like that. Because from our Excel, I'm also reading these rows, which I don't really need to. So what I need to do is to skip the first nine rows inside the read Excel, we separate that with a comma and we skip rows equal nine. Let me see what we get. Control B again. I can only see the column heads, but we also get the unnamed. So basically, what we are reading is here. We are also reading these column heads as a name, which is this one. Because Anders doesn't know the column head in these cells. I'm going to chop off these columns. Instead, I'm only reading these column heads. What I'll be doing is I wrap around this one with a dot and then a look separate the rows and the columns because i'm reading all the rows that's why i put a colon so it's going to read everything from the first row to the last row inside these data frame the table and i'm going to read the columns from the column heads trade day to end balance put a bracket this is the column one colon up until column whatever okay so i'll just put my column one will be my tray day so it will be my tray day and the end column will be my end balance end balance that's what we will be going to grab tray day Let's make it larger. Pray day up until end balance. Okay, so I just control B, grab again. And now I can see trade day up until end balance. 
let's say if I just want from row 1 to row 7, then what should I do? Go back to the data frame and go to the dot loop. Just change it to 1 to 7. I forgot if it's including 7. Just control B. Oops. Control B. Good. It's inclusive. Then now I'm going to read from index 1 to index 7. That's basic use of the read Excel in pandas. Okay, hopefully it helps. Thank you. Bye bye.